What's up YouTube, it's LDS Reliance. Today I'm gonna to do a video on something that I've wanted to do for a long time. I've done quite a few videos on solar power. Now it's time to get into a little bit of wind power. Um, basically when it's cloudy outside or in the winter months when I'm not getting quite as much solar as I want to, I wanted to add something that will give me a little bit of an extra boost to keep those batteries topped off. And so what I'm going to be doing is, uh, this is going to be probably a three or four part series on, uh, on this uh, wind, little mini wind turbine that I'm going to build. And I'm going to take you step by step through kind of my thinking and where I'm going with this. It's going to be some, a learning experience. I'm not designing this for maximum power or, you know, full scale power production. This is something that I'm, I'm doing to try to prove the concept to see if it's something I want to invest more resources in and also to learn along the way. So anyway, step one, I'm going to show you how to uh, build some, some cheap PVC blades, uh, what kind of motor we're going to be using and how we're going to attach this to the, the motor and then we'll take it from there in, in part two. Okay, so for the, the rotors or the blades, um, what we want to do is we want to cut our PVC pipe to length first and uh, the way that you do that I've already cut this piece but you, and the reason why I have this sandpaper here is you want to take something flexible but still fairly sturdy and it's going to be hard for me to do this one handed but basically if you if you wrap it around the pipe Make sure that it's lined up correctly around the edges. This is a little rough, but anyway, if you hold it like that and then mark around the edge, that'll give you a perfect, perfectly flush circle. And then just take your uh, your hacksaw or uh, whatever saw you you want to use to cut it to length. Once you've got it cut to length, then you want to take your your uh, straight edge again. And, and mark a line down the center and cut it in half. Make sure that you do that on both sides. You know, one on this side, one on this side, and that they're perfectly in the middle so that you'll get two even sides. Now, I'm for my particular build, I'm going to do six blades or six uh, rotors. So I'm going to cut three of these lengths out of my PVC. This is three quarter inch PVC. I'm going to cut uh, three lengths this long and then I'm going to cut them each in half and that will give me my six uh, blades. Okay, I've got my pieces cut here. So as you can see, it's just a, a half um, cut down the middle. It's, it's a little rough. That's kind of what you get using a hacksaw. Um, but the next step we need to do, so the bottom of these are gonna, is going to fit into the, the hook excuse me, the hub that is attached to the motor. So we need to cut a small little block down there where we're going to put a, a, you know, drill a hole and put a screw through it so that it attaches to the hub. Then, so we're going to kind of cut out a notch on both sides to kind of bring it into a little square shape at the bottom. Up here we're going to cut away some of the material um, to resemble a swept wing, kind of at an angle. Um, and I'll have to show you after I get done what it looks like. This is going to take some trial and error. Uh, good thing is PVC is cheap, so buy a bunch of it. I, I bought a 10 or 12 foot piece and uh, I'm just going to kind of experiment um, with different uh, styles of, of blades to find out what works best. But I'm going to, for my first attempt, I'm going to basically take it at about middle up here and taper it off somewhere down here um, for each of these and then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, here I have one of the blades that I've finished. It's, it's still rough, but and I've got the hub here that you can see how this is going to connect. So basically um, I've drilled a hole like that so that I can get all six blades on there. I've cut out the little notch at the bottom and I may have to, you know, enlarge the or, or shape these a little bit differently to get all six of these on there. And then I've I've tapered it a little bit as you can see 
toward the middle. I went about halfway into the trough there and then came at an angle out. So um, I may have to continue shaping these and changing them and playing around and trial and error with them. But I'm going to start with this and see how this works. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that to the rest of these five and get these mounted on there. Okay, so here we have the completed assembly. I've got, I used some small machine screws. Um, I can post the size of the screws. They just barely poke out the back here. Um, anyway, that's kind of, pardon my mess. Again, these are experimental blades. They're not supposed to look pretty. But uh, as you can see, you know, there's six decently sized, or I think about 14 inches long blades. <clears throat> And uh, I've got them attached to the hub, which is, uh, you know, using set screws attached to the motor. And so I've got my positive lead here and my negative lead here. And so I'm going to use my, my fan here to test this. I'm going to connect my, my multimeter to the back of this and hold it in front of the fan so you can see uh, what it produces. Okay, I've got the fan turned on its lowest setting here. I'm just lightly holding the motor here while the blades spin. Uh, this is probably equivalent to about a 10-12 mile per hour wind. And you can see we're making about, it's fluctuating between 5 and 6 volts. plenty high enough, 15, that's plenty high enough to charge a 12 volt battery. Okay, so for the last part of this, this first video, um, I wanted to talk about the motor. And uh, this particular motor that I picked out to use for this, this is a geared motor. It's kind of a hobby sized uh, motor. Normally, the these hobby motors, which is this part of of the uh, the motor they're really high RPM and this one's no different but what it has is it has a little gearbox which is kinda like a transmission down here that changes it so that you don't, it doesn't require quite as high RPM to to work properly now that's there's a trade-off involved because you're gonna get a little bit of a cogging effect as I turn this it's you see that it kind of moves in increments like that so it's gonna be a little bit harder to start up but it will work in much lower speeds than um, you know a typical motor of this size will work. This one in particular is geared for 300 RPM, so that would kind of be its its maximum rated um, speed. And it is a 12 volt motor, and it pr produces 0.6 amps or 600 milliamps um, when it's when it's fully uh, fully loaded. And in order to to use this with my 24 uh, volt battery bank, which is my intention, I have a, a regulator here that will convert. Um, I'm not going to get into this too much until maybe the next video, but basically this will convert it from the you know 6 to 12 volts that this thing is going to produce in average wind speeds. This is going to bump it up to it can go up to to 30 volts, but I'm going to be putting it up to more of a you know. 28, 29, whatever uh, is best for charging my, my battery bank. Um, now I know that that's going to only be a trickle of energy, but this is a kind of a science experiment. This is kind of to prove the concept and, and to learn as I go. So this is not really meant to produce tons and tons of watts of energy. Anyways, thanks for watching this part. Stay tuned for part two when I build uh, the rest of this assembly.